Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In the last episode we went underground and we saw a few things but today we are trying our first attempt at a brand new boss because yesterday I asked you guys Hey, do you have any uh, suggestions on where I'm going wrong with the, the progression of the mod? Because I was a little bit worried because when I was reading up about these bosses, um, they gave like really weird information, like some of it was just a little bit jumbled. Either way, you guys came along to, uh, to rescue me and uh, gave me a bunch of tips and tricks and just a few little pointers for the next boss without spoiling anything because I wanted it to be spoiler free. So... At the start of today's episode, we're actually going to be attempting this first new boss. It's called the Desert Scourge, uh, or so I believe, and I think I have the completed recipe for what we need to actually craft it. I was just grabbing a few Daybloom then. So uh, one of the mods I've turned on is, obviously we have the items mod, which will basically show us all of the uh, the crafting recipes. So we need 25 sand, 3 ant lion mandibles, 15 cactus, a storm lion mandible, and five coral. So I took the uh, I took the time to go and get the coral. I also took the time to go and get the two uh, heart crystals from yesterday. And I also I also activated the boss checklist. So as you can see, before the Eye of Cthulhu, you're meant to do the Desert Scourge, and uh, it sounds pretty awesome. So I wanted to uh, to try it today. I also wanted to make it a mini Chippy Craft episode. So. This little segment that we're about to do will probably end up on the main channel because I just want to show everybody my first attempt. I'm really excited for it. But first, hello Abraham. Do you have anything interesting to sell us? A life form analyzer and a ho -ho companion cube. As we all know, uh, we've run the math on it. Rarest item in the game. Pretty cool. I'm going to buy this, the life form analyzer. And then I guess I'll buy some... Hmm, I'll buy some foe for definite. Right, we'll grab some foe. And then, hmm, do we grab the stopwatch? I say we grab... No, no we're not going to grab the stopwatch. Oh, that's arcane as well, so we'll place that on ourselves. Right, so we have our little summoner's item. We have all of the items that we're probably going to need. I actually have a, uh, a collection of jester arrows made up. I have 60 jester arrows and 7 wooden arrows. And uh, we're just going to get crafting this thing. So we need 25 uh, sand blocks. We need the cactus. We need the antlion stuff. We also need the uh, the storm lion ones. Where have I placed them? I probably have them in the chest somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, so you need two of these. And then that should be it, right? You actually have to craft this at an anvil. So uh, let's see. There it is. The desert medallion. Right, okay. Awesome. Well, before we go on, I'm actually going to buy some. Um, I'm going to buy some throwing shuriken from the merchant. Oh, oh my god, I've actually bought quite a lot of it. Now, it's to my understanding that this boss is going to be a little bit like the uh, the Eater of Worlds, and that's why I'm going for uh, the things with piercing shots. So I've gone obviously with the shuriken to uh, to pierce through the entire body, and then of course I've gone with the jester arrows to pierce the boss. Now, this is meant to be done before the Eye of Cthulhu, so we've probably got a really good chance to actually do this. So, uh, I'm excited to see how it goes. So, I'm just going to grab a little bit more wood, and this will um, this will allow us to make a little bit of a platform for it. And then we can actually jump straight into this guy. I'm, I'm super excited to see what he's like, because this is my first Calamity bod. <laughs> yeah, sure. Where, where were you going with that, James? It's my first Calamity mod boss. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. Sounds, <laughs> doesn't flow off the tongue quite as nicely as uh, my uh, first bod. <laughs> um, yeah, right, brilliant. Oh, oh, I also need to make myself some, um, I also need to make myself some regen potions. So let's go over here and get these crafted up. I'm going to craft one of these and then let's see, do I have any iron ore that I might be able to steal? Hmm, I've got tin. Does tin work? Oh no, it has to be lead, right? Okay. Alright, we'll leave that for now. So I have a Swiftness, Archery, Hunter... Ooh, Gravitation. Ah, I'm, I'm going to save that for later. Let's put this in here. There was something I needed to grab using a Gravitation Potion. I'll probably remember later. I'll also place them in the chest as well. And, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. So we need to come over to the desert and build ourselves a platform. Right, I say a platform... I say a platform there, to be honest. Just across the uh, the gap would be quite nice. At least then we can kind of 
move left and right. I don't know if you have to be underground for this guy. Hopefully not, because then we can uh, we can stick with what we're going with. Actually, you know what? I might make a, uh, a second platform just above, just so we can kind of get a little bit of dodging going. I mean, you can't do too much dodging with uh, the accessories we've got. I mean, we're pretty limited at the minute. Okay, we're going to have to kill these people first. All right, Vulture's dead, and uh, second Vulture's dead. Awesome. All right, two Desert Feathers. So let's build a cross, and then from this, sure, uh, from this cactus, we're going to build the second layer like this. And this will give us somewhat of a uh, of better mobility. Honestly, it's not going to be too great, but uh, I do want to check it out. Right, so after we've killed these guys, this should be our very first Desert Scourge fight. I'm super excited to actually give this one a go, because uh, this mod has been pretty hyped up for bosses. So... I'm going to spawn it in and buff up. So, using the Jester Arrows first. Oh my god, you are... <laughs> this guy is huge! I did not expect him to actually be large. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't anything like this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> I'd have been better with grenades! Oh my god. Right, we got wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> we got absolutely wrecked. <laughs> I was so underprepared for that. I honestly thought, oh, it's before I have Cthulhu. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god. That was, uh... <laughs> yeah, that was rather silly, to be honest. That was, uh, very underprepared on my part. My god, I am, uh... I am not ready for Calamity much. <laughs> I need to start upping my game. But my god, though... What a cool little fight. I, I did like the uh, I did like the humongousness of that boss. I did think it was cool. Alright, so I guess now that we've uh, completely gotten ourselves wrecked by the first boss, I'm just going to start bombing under here because I wanted to go and check out a little bit more of the underground. I actually did a tiny bit off camera, like I said, to get the, uh, to get the live crystals for that fight. But uh, I thought we could uh, do a little bit of exploring together, guys. So we can, um, yeah, just go and check out what's underground. So it's a little bit dark right now. There was a pretty cool strange plant up there. I'm not going to go and get it, but um, yeah, this is actually where I got to, and then I just kind of recalled back, I believe. So uh, let's continue onwards and see what we can find. The there were two quite, like, close little houses here. Like, there was just one up here and then one down there, so they were quite close together. So we might get a third one if we're lucky. Let's see. I, w I, I didn't get to check out the full extent of this area, to be honest, but... um. It should actually open itself up to be quite a nice cave from the look of things. There was a little area underneath this bottom house, actually. There was a little area under here, which I was kind of like, Hey, if that, uh, if nothing shows up, we can actually go and check this out. So I may go this way, to the left, and uh, see what's going on. But for now, I should probably think of a way of getting out this water before I get absolutely flooded. Right, okay, we're good. We are good. But my god, though, I was not expecting that with that boss. I really wasn't expecting it to be that large, and I really wasn't expecting it to be that... Well, I didn't expect it to have that level of health. I kind of thought we could kind of steamroll it, because, of course, it's before the Eye of Cthulhu. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely storm through the Eye of Cthulhu. And I was kind of like, well, if it's like the Year of Worlds, of course I need piercing shots. But I also thought, well, if it's a, you know, a weaker Eater of Worlds, we could just smash through it. I don't know, I feel like we would have probably have survived longer actually facing the Eater of Worlds than we did that guy. I find that pretty amusing, to be honest. But uh, we will have another crack at it tomorrow. I do have to go and get myself some more coral, though, because I did use all of the coral that I had um, at, the <laughs> at the end of my world to do that. But let's blow up this little bottom area here. Let's see if we can... Uh, Make a, uh, make a good day out of this episode, even though we lost our first boss fight. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, you've opened up into something, game. But what is it? Is it anything nice? I don't know. Right. Let's, uh, let's move up here. Let's check this out. Right, so just the one pot. I'm just going to use a few jester arrows to see. No, it looks like absolutely nothing this way. So it may be worth just roping our way back upwards. And, uh... Yeah, just pressing onwards. I actually don't have my rope on me. Oh, I, I put it in the chest. Right, silly chippy. Right, looks like we're uh, we're just building our way up again this time. <laughs> oh my god, a little crawl, Dad. Right, we can uh, we can sort this dude out. 
with uh, with fought enough of these guys. When I was farming away for the uh, for the yo-yo in my yo-yo series, my God, I fought so many of these little crawdads trying to get myself a um. I think it was a code one. I think I look again a little code one from those guys. I think it was that, or it might have been the um. It was either oh, it was the rally. It was the rally. Yeah, I farmed for uh for the rally for a good few hours against that guy. Oh my God, I have absolutely flooded this area. So let's see on the map. We do have. That looks like it could potentially be something, so we do have an opening to use. I'll tell you what though, I'm going to take a uh, one bomb and make it a sticky bomb. So when we go down here, we should be able to see. But let's see. So I'm going to plant this. Oh my god, a piranha. Oh my god. Right, let's get out of the way. Oh, robot. Oh my god, really? Robot hat? Right now? My god, that's actually really rare. Like, I, I'm actually quite shocked by that. Oh, we need to get into this, uh, into this breathable air. There we go. Nice. Okay. Right, so I'm pretty impressed by the robot hat. We did lose the ability to have a actual uh, shine on us, though, which is a little bit sad. But uh, I do like the robot hat a hell of a lot. Especially because it's so rare, and it's based on Cave Story, which is, by the way, an absolutely fantastic game. Hmm. All right. So there is a big stack of gold here. So I will take that. And I tell you what, because we are low health, I am going to do the piggy bank trick, and I'm going to place this down. And uh, deposit all this. Well, quick stack it all at least. Okay. And then what do we do here? Because this is kind of a large area. There is a, uh, a little hot over here. So I'm going to move this way. Just got to be careful because a granite elemental could just sneak up on us so fast. There is actually one approaching this way. Okay. Right. Oh, and another heart cr uh, crystal. So we'll take that. Cool. And then open this up. Let's see. Ah, nice. Some Hermes boots. Right, that is going to help us out in the long run. I do like Hermes boots a hell of a lot. I'm going to replace it with... I guess the radar. Because obviously we don't need the radar. Because it's only plus 20 mana. And we're not actually using any uh, mage weapons for the moment. Hmm. Right, let's, uh, let's move downwards. So... Oh, okay. Nice, nice. A second hut. Let's see. So, another magic mirror, some flaming arrows, some spelunker potions, and some recall potions. Okay. Right. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another sticky bomb here. Oh, okay, I'm going to um, I'm gonna move away from that guy. Just going to open up this bottom area and just see if this leads into anything nice. It could, this could either be garbage or it could be well worth it. Let's see. And then after this, if this gives us nothing, I am going to take the time to... Uh, to use the gravitation potion to go to some of the floating islands. Oh, snap. Okay, right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take that chance now because I do want to get out of there because I'm being a little bit silly, admittedly. I should uh, clean up my uh, my inventory and then we'll use the gravitation potion. All right, so I'm going to be using the Gravitation Potion now, and if you've never seen one of my Let's Plays before, what I like to do is I like to cut ahead to the floating island, because the effect where you kind of flip the world upside down, that can actually give a lot of people who are viewing motion sickness. So what I'll do is I'll do a few jump cuts here just to the floating island. Um, I'm only doing it once, once again because it can make people feel nauseous, and I'd rather just that not happen. So one little jump cut, and then we'll see the islands. Alright, so we've found the first one, so let's see what's inside. A damaged star fury, some mining potions, and a sky mill. Right, none of that is too great, so I'm going to move on to the next one, and we'll uh, we'll see what we get on the second one. i tell you what though, I am going to place a bunch of rope downwards, because I don't remember why we needed to come up here. I believe it was something to do with the desert fossil. I will admit, I haven't looked back on yesterday's episode yet. So, I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to kill these enemies... And then I'm going to move to the next one. I'm going to keep placing rope, though. But uh, I remember that I had to come up here for some reason. So uh, I will make a floating island that we can actively visit. This is just good in general, just for when you need to farm stuff later on in the game anyway. Right, that's uh, that's good enough. That should have reached somewhere. Right, so another little jump cut to uh, avoid the motion sickness. All right, so with the remaining few seconds, I actually didn't mind... <laughs> oh my god, managed to survive that. I actually didn't manage to find myself a, uh, a second one, so I'm going to go back to the house now. And uh, I'm actually going to call it a day there, guys. It's been a bit of a mad one. I, uh, I don't want this episode to get too chaotic. I mean, with that failed boss attempt, I mean, I've kind of dragged you guys down a bit. But uh, tomorrow we'll do it again. We'll do it even better. 
and we'll actually try and win. So, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.